another generation to cross the gun with you. Woo Welcome back to another Plastic On Review. Today we're going to cover Generation 2 Nautilator. This is Nautilator. These are crustacean. Very, very cool. I do like the colors on this guy. He's very, he's more of the wider ones or the uh, brighter colored of the group. This really isn't a white though. It's like a, such a palish kind of gray. It's really neat. I do like his uh, little claws here. And how they're all painted black here, and they really, really stand out. It's also got these nice, uh, that odd maroonish purple legs going on there. And then, you know, just got the little crustacean tail, just kind of, you know, it, it, it really does look like a little lobster. Do you like it? It's got this gigantic gun that goes on the front here that, you know, you can take off. And then you can close up his mouth, because he does have a mouth. A lot of these do have mouths, which is really cool. I do like that about this. And then this right here, you can actually peg it kind of in the hand if you wanted to on the side. But it's kind of difficult to get it in there. But you can peg it in there. It just doesn't like to stay very well. But he does have ability to move his little arms up and down, which is kind of cool. And he's just got a lot of really, really cool detail. Now, he does have ability to whip out the uh, combiner port. This is in the back and a little more difficult to get out. And it does work with this stand. These stands, man, these stands are awesome. Very difficult to get in there sometimes, but you can't get them in there. And it's kind of neat because, you know, he is a sea creature, so. Kind of weird to see his legs up like that. So you can like kind of tuck his legs down a little bit, so that way it looks like he's like swimming along or something. Very cool. I mean, if you really wanted to, you can take like a G2 bumblebee and stick it under here, and you can be like holding onto him or something. Because he does have this clamping kind of mechanism here, which is kind of nice. And it closes up to about there. So he does have ability to be able to hold like a smaller transformer in there. It's kind of neat. And the gun, like I said, is would fit right under here. And it does have purple on the end, so that purplish uh, same color on here. So this whole piece here is all painted, which is kind of nice. So you're able to stick a little gun here underneath. Just like that. And then there you go, he's just floating around going pew pew at whatever wants to float around and pee pew at. Well, it is kind of neat. I do like the idea that this has ability to be able to interact with that stand. It's very cool. It's just a nice, different look when it comes to these kind of things. But, this isn't all he does because, you know, obviously he turns into a robot. So let's get on to that one, right? Nautilator in his robot mode. He's very orange. I like how much orange actually pops out of the chest area on this thing. It's kind of cool how the gun is the same color. It does look really, really neat. His uh, legs being out like this really makes him look a lot bigger. You can, if you want to, just disconnect the uh, arms because arms do come off. Much like overbite. And then you can fold these back. And then you can have a little slimmer robot if you wanted to. Kind of hugs the uh, head on the back, which is kind of nice. Do you like the idea you have the option? The option's actually really cool. Because, you know, that kind of thing is, you know, something you might not necessarily like the way it looks one way, but you're able to change that about these. It does have ability to use the uh, gun portion of that stand. And, you know, obviously, if you really wanted to, you can do that whole silly thing I did earlier where you can 
take this because this is a standard Scramble City port and put that on there so that way he's got a helmet. He's got a helmet head going on. It's kind of funny. I find this hilarious that I can do this. But <clears throat> it does have pretty good detail on that head sculpt. It's not too bad. And he does have a septic on him right there on his chest, which is kind of nice. A little different because considering his uh, other counterpart didn't have it. Although, Overbite had yeah, Overbite actually had one too, which is kind of nice. So, yeah. These two here are kind of, to me, are almost similar. Especially since they kind of can do the same gimmick with the hole here to be able to turn into a target master. Just like the, uh, just like overbite. So you get to do that, you're going to flip this thing here out. You will leave that down like this, and then you're able to take your gun and stick it here on the end. And there you go, large target master. Um, this here, you can use this here maybe to hug to go around the arm of the uh, whoever's going to be holding it. You also have ability if you want to to flip this around the opposite way, put this out, and put the gun here instead. It's kind of nice because you know that options, man, options. You, you got to love that. It's just it's, these what these guys are all about. I do like that. I like that idea. You know, so transform back into robot mode. It's just, it's great. It's so simple. It doesn't take long at all. I do like that about him. But, anyhow, this has been BlastCon. It's been your, another Generation 2 review. I'll catch you guys around, because I'll have more. Plenty more. Coming your way. See you around. Bye!